My brothers and sisters out there in the world, it is your brother Fat Boy Fish, and I'm I'm gonna talk freely. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there, but I'm gonna talk freely for a minute. Now, let me tell you how God feels about you and your actions, real quick, because I had to find out this out this weekend. Now, take a person, take anybody you know, take any anybody you have ever been with, anybody that you know, take that person. And you see how they, they do their hardest for that person. They give in to that person. They try to do their best for that person. They sacrifice the things that they have. They go out of go out of times in which they have other things to do to sacrifice for that person. They come out of pocket. And they do all this. I mean, they do a mountain. They do multitudes of different things for this person, right? To try to either give in or help that person. Hey, brother, I love you. You my bigger brother, little brother. I love you. I got your back. That type of business, right? Hey, girl, you my sister. Uh, we do this together. We do that. I got your back. Ooh, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. All of that, right? Oh, you my kid. I love you. I'm your, I'm going to be there for you. You just count on me. All that type of business, right? Now, just imagine when that other person, and you done, you, you been through this. Just like, it's not, not no person on the face of this earth who has not been through this. But check this out. This is how God feels about you. So, that person, they do their best. I mean, they do everything for that person. They go over hills, mountains, under canals, under everything. You know what I'm saying? They didn't lift up mountains. They didn't did all of the stuff for this person. And then this person turns their back on that other person. So, the person that did all the work, they devastated, Right? They devastated. They heart broke. They like, oh, man, I did all of that for you. And, and you want to turn your back on me now? That's what we be doing to God, y'all. Every time we don't want to listen to what God is telling us. every He feels just like that. He, feel, he feels no different than you felt the day your homegirl turned her back on you, sister. How did it feel? It didn't feel good, did it? It felt, it felt raunchy. It felt bad. You felt bad. You was like, damn, I did all of that for you. And you still turned your back on me. That's how he feels, sister. Brother, you know your homeboy. You did all that for him. You was always there for him. You was always there for him in his corner when he needed you the most. And he turned his back on you. How did you feel? It didn't feel good, huh? It didn't feel right. Well, every time you disrespect, break the laws, don't do what you're supposed to do, act like you don't want to love God, act like you don't want to be there for me, that is what you're doing to God. And that's how he feels like. He feels just like that. Like... I've been here for you. And this is what he told me. He's like, man, I've been here for you when you didn't even know I was here for you. When you were sitting there turning your back on me, you didn't even know you was turning your back on me. But that's how I felt. You seen how they did you? Did that feel good? Did it feel good? No, it didn't feel good, Father. It felt bad. It felt the worst. I did everything I could for that person. And they still turned their back on me. And they depended on me and trusted in me. And I was there for them. I was there for them. Helping them, their kids, their they mom, their dad. All that. All that. All that. And then that person, they they did a 360 on me. You know what I'm saying? They did the complete turnaround and turn, turned their back on me and stabbed me in the back. But that... It's how God feels about us. Anytime we don't, we sin and we give in to our lust and we give in to our temptation, he feels no different than that. And that don't feel good, family. When that person, brother or sister, did me wrong and I did the best that I could for them, you know what I'm saying? I took it upon myself to go out of the norm. Oh, let me drive over here to help my boy. You know what I'm saying? He need my extra help. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no milk to put on. I feel that nigga. Let me get up over there and help my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Oh, my home girl. I know she ain't got no ride home from work. She got five kids. Let me go go over there real quick and pick them up and take them home. You know what I'm saying? And had that same sister turn her back on me. You know what I'm saying? That shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? It hurt. You know what I'm saying? God feels no differently than that. You you do what he does. He does his best for us, family. He does his best. Either we we acknowledge it or we don't. Either we know it's happening or we don't. But God, he is sitting there doing his best for us all the time. And we just turn our back on God like whatever. Oh, I'll be there on Wednesday. I don't know about Monday and Tuesday. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Lord. I don't know if I could do that. But that's how he feel. That feeling that you got when your friend, when you did your best. It don't have to just be a friend. It could be a family member, an associate. 
a co-worker, anybody that you know that you have time, have put the TLC into them. Excuse me. The time, the effort, and the love to help them. That's what God does to us. He put all his time, all his effort into us. We don't even acknowledge him. We don't even act like he did exist. And then when we finally do get some get right, we look back at all the times that he was there with us. Like, man, Father, you was putting up with all of that. You was there with me all them times. And I didn't even know, but he was there, family. So that's why your brother say God is good because he he been there for me so many different times. I can't even I can't even count times when he wasn't there. But when I'm not acting right and I'm doing bad, that's how he feels. So you need to be thinking about what you're doing when you go against God like that, family. That's some that's some real talk right there. You know what it felt like when your brother turned his back on you and you did your best for him. God feels the same way. He feels no different than that. Like I just sit up here. And I did my best for that person. And they don't even want to acknowledge none of my greatness of everything that I did for them. Now, that's sad. Sister, you know how you felt when you found out that you did all of that for your homegirl. And then she's going to turn around and now you're hearing her talk smack about you. But you just sit there with all of your resources and all of your time and all of your effort to pull into her and her family. And then find out that she trifling and she turned her back on you. Well, God, he feels the same way, sister. He really does, sister. He feels the same way every time you treat him like that. And when he gave me that self-realization, it made me think, man, I need to be doing good as I can, as best as I can for the father. Now, the topic for today is. Um, Jesus said to follow me. That's what he said. Not follow me. You know what I'm saying? Not follow me, but he said to follow him. So we're going to go over these things. It's 2017. What do you consider to be following the Lord? I really mean that. Okay. You don't live in Saudi. You don't live nowhere, nowhere close to Jerusalem. You don't live nowhere. So here in America, what is the best way that you can follow after the Lord? So as I look at this situation, now we all know that the Lord, he carried himself in a in some mannerisms that was very respectful, unlike things that you are accustomed or you have seen people portray in their own actions. So look at how much love that he had on him. Jesus wants you to walk in love. Look how much respect that he had. Jesus wants you to have walk in respect. Look at how much honor he had. Jesus was a very honorable man, meaning that He's not going to step out of anything that is not honorable to the father. He's going to respect the father 100 percent. So what else did he do? Signs and miracles and blessings. OK, you can't do none of that. Well, yes, you can. If you have faith, yes, you can, too. You can go out here and heal as many people as you want, touch as many people as you want. Just by you showing your love for God, that's the most major thing that anybody can do. You know what I'm saying? In a world that's filled with so much darkness, so much evil, and nobody ain't content with nothing. But back to uh, how can you be more like how can you be more like Yahshua? How did he act? <clears throat> how did he act? What did he do? What was the things that he did do? How did he carry yourself? You must do all of those things. You know what I'm saying? Now, we talked about you suffering, we talked about God tapping your booty up you know what I'm saying we talked about that last week but what is the other christ he wants you to be like him now that's hard family i'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you and act like oh i'm so holier than i oh i'm so holy i can do it no 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 we don't fake up on no god up over here if you're not gonna come with 100 of who you are i see you're gonna have to sit back for a little bit of time i see but okay i come at god i'm not perfect but I'm not showing them my rough treatment either. I'm not going out of character and being something that I'm not and being who I was and saying, oh, well, that's good. Jesus, he going to accept me however I am. No, he not. He's going to accept me the way that the word is. That's why it's so important. OK, when when you following after Christ, right, Christ, he wants you to follow the Bible, right? So you're going to have to follow all these laws, these statutes and commandments. That's why it's so damn important, family, to follow all these laws. That's the only way you can show that you love them. But you're going to have to act like it, too. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to do the things that the Bible teach you to act. And I don't know if y'all know this, but the Bible teaches us, ones who follow the Bible, it teaches us to go against everything that's in this world. Anything. That's why y'all always see me going against all this. All this. Because we're not supposed to be like that. We're not supposed to do stuff like that. We're not supposed to be like that. 
You know what I'm saying? So if you really following the Bible, you got to go against the society where you live at. You have to. You can't go into it. What is this number? No, we're not taking no more phone calls because I, I finished that phone call. I'm going to have to decline on that one. But if you're going to follow, if you're going to follow him, you're going to have to follow all his laws. And just by you learning his laws, that's going to teach you how to act like he act. I'm not expecting you to be perfect like Jesus. Ain't no human on the face of this earth that can be perfect like Yeshua. But you can try. You can practice. And you can come close, family. You can not come close. Now... We know he had integrity, he had a mountain of love, he had respect, he had virtues, he had morals, he had dignity, he had all kinds of stuff, family. But his main thing was following after respecting God's laws. That's what Jesus did. He did. Don't, don't get me wrong. He taught the people. He healed the people. He was always on the run. But he was following after them laws, too. So to really please him, okay, once back again, to be more like Jesus, you're going to have to follow God's laws. You're going to have to follow all of them, family. I'm not expecting you to be perfect, but I'm expecting you to try with everything that you can because we all fall short. I understand that. Okay, what is it? Just calling to let you know maintenance. Oh, I'm not going to meet that. I'm not caring about that. That ain't got nothing to do with me right now. Now, um, so I'm going to read a little bit, family, and we're going to go into it if I can still remember where the heck I put it at. So how, how can you be more like Christ? You're going to have to follow up these laws, family. You're going to have to. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect. Nah, your brother ain't going to lie to you like that. But as far as the laws, I'm doing everything that I can, family. I'm doing everything in all his laws, his statutes and commandments to be righteous. To do righteous, willingly. You know what I'm saying? All these things, okay. I'm not out here being foul because I know God is watching me. You know what I'm saying? He's watching me and he, whatever I'm doing, he going to judge me on it. You know what I'm saying? I already know that. So I'm going to act accordingly. But what can I really do to be like Christ? And that's the act. We got to imitate him, y'all. However, he acted whatever he was doing, but it's still the main focus still relies on him. He was he was a madman when it came to them laws. He was not playing with nobody. Whatever the father said, the son did whatever. I said to you again, whatever the father said, the son did. And if you know anything about Jesus, he was always talking about I come to uh, fulfill prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do is fulfilling prophecy. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's real strict on them laws. So to be like Jesus, you got to follow all these laws to follow to, to please the master. I'm not expecting you to be perfect. Can't nobody be perfect. But that does not give you a reason to show your ass out here and not care and not be like the Christ. To follow the Christ, you got to act like Christ in all your endeavors. And you cannot say that it cannot be done when God has put his laws on you. So let's go ahead because I don't even got that much time, family. is it right here what are what are you willing to do in your life to make it into into the father's kingdom yourself or what your needs are are they of god your needs are they of god are they are they god willing are they god willing will god give you these things because some things that we ask for you know damn well god is not gonna get that to us so why is you wasting your time asking or own what or is it things that keep us from pleasing the Father? So you must ask your own self. This is what's keeping me from wanting what the Father wants on my life. Yahshua said to all of you that desire to come to come after me and follow him, take up the cross. So what, is, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? We live in 2017. You know what I'm saying? You really got to think about that. And the Lord is asking you to be like he is. Can't nobody be perfect, family. It doesn't even work like that. But you can try and you can do your best. And you know that you could be like Christ in all your actions. That's the test right there, family. And that's what that's what we in right now. Yeshua, okay, Yeshua said to desire to come after me and let him deny himself and take up the cross. So all your wants, if it's not God willing, 
all your needs, all, all your wants. What is your wants? You know what I'm saying? What is What do you want to do? You're going to have to deny that and pick up that cross. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to leave your old life wherever it was, whatever it was, whatever you was doing with your life to follow and get more knowledge of this Christ, of it, of the cross, okay? So whatever your ever whatever your wants in your life was, your worldly, you must deny it and only do as the Lord did, wanting to build up the kingdom of in and the and people's faith. So denying, you know what I'm saying? It falls back to you denying your own selves. But if it's of God and it's godly, you can have it. You know what I'm saying? If it's godly, you don't have to worry about denying that. But if it's worldly, if it's things of this world, you're going to have to deny all of that. That's why you're going to have to fight this damn flesh. Okay. You picking up the cross, you acting, you, you acting, living and being like Yahshua. And in this day and an age, it's, it takes a lot to follow after Yahshua because it is not it's not lots of people who who think it's cool or hip or fun and to live like the master. It takes dedication to do what's right in the life and walk in righteousness the way he lived. So you must be like the master in all his ways. I'm telling you, you got to be like the master. You know, he was kind. He was compassionate. He was loving. He was faithful. He was loyal. He was he was he, he sacrificed for people. You know, what I'm saying Jesus did a whole lot, family. So we got to we got to all take up that Christ in our own life. You know what I'm saying? And be like Christ. Be like Yahshua in our lives. We have to. You know what I'm saying? We have to do the things he did. Be like he show compassion, love to these people. Try to help these people as much. Now, y'all might not be able to give them a miracle, but you could give them a miracle by you showing your love for God. You could give them a miracle if they come up to you asking you for something and you be the one that be able to help them. That is a little mini miracle in their lives. So, okay, let's... He lives so much to be like the master in all our ways. Faithfulness, to stay loyal, to do the will of God on our lives. You have to promptly, promptly, daily and being a righteous person. Truthfulness, honesty, honor, moralities. On how you carry about yourself to be righteous persons, so different than no different than the master's loyalty to God, God will on your life. Some people can't be or know or know what we're talking about because they be faking. People must be able to see God through them. Or by them doing the will of the Father. It takes a person that wants to change and do what is right. Because it starts with the will in the heart to want to stand for something more perfect than themselves. So your old life, you have to let all that is, that is ungodly away from your new life. And you can do the same thing that may... And you cannot do the same things that made you sin and stumble before the Father. Do away with all the awful sin, sinful nature of the old woman or the old one or the the old woman or the old man, and become blameless in the new the new sight of the Father without sin. So you must do away with the old man or woman that you used to be. And pledge your new life and your new love for the Father. And pledge your new life and your love for the Father. So it, it still basically revol it still revolves around us being righteous people, being holy people. If you could be righteous, if you could be holy, that's being like Jesus. Yes. If you can walk in love and you could be a faithful person, that's being like Jesus. Yes. If you could sacrifice for others. And you can you can sacrifice for others and then you can show people a different a different person, because we all know when we came out of that life, I start thinking about how I used to be. And wow, you know, what I'm saying how I used to be, how I used to act. I just didn't give a damn family. 
but he still cared. You know what I'm saying? He still cared about all of us when we be out there in that life, doing that stuff and being like that life. Like if I if I had a conversation with myself at this age and myself at 20, I'd be like, who the hell? Who are you? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. But I had a worldly type mind. That's all I cared about was. Th